Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Six Senses Ibiza. This is the Charles Marlow property tour with a difference. We're delighted to have been invited by the Six Senses here in Ibiza to showcase for you two of their most spectacular mansions. Let me explain. Six Senses make the most beautiful hotels in the world and I am delighted to be stood right here in the newest addition to their portfolio in the rugged north coast of Ibiza. They've got 119 utterly luxurious hotel rooms. However, if you're looking for something a little bit different, you are gonna to wanna to check in to one of their 21 residences. The residences range from three bedroom townhouses all the way up to what we're going to look at today, an unbelievable five bedroom cliffhanger mansion and the 10 bedroom pinnacle. Staying in these mansions is going to cost you 20,000 euros per night. You get your own personal concierge, you get access to the hotel boats and of course the world-class services that I'm stood amongst here. Brilliant swimming pool overlooking the gorgeous Chirac Bay, three world-class restaurants and second to none service. At 140,000 euros a week, these mansions are being compared to the best villas the island has to offer. How do they stack up? There's only one way to find out. Let's go and have a look around. Hello there. So come on inside and follow me into the pinnacle. We're seeing two beautiful mansions today. This is the largest of them. We've got over 2,000 square meters of luxury villa right here and 10 glorious double ensuite bedrooms. You've come in through one of the two entrances into this particular villa, the main entrance right here, which brings you out onto the first floor. And trust me, there's much to show you up here, including a fantastic view right behind me. But don't get too suckered into that just yet. We will get there. But first of all, come with me downstairs. Welcome to my humble home. So we come straight down into the main living space of the Pinnacle, and what a space it is. Take a look around. We've got big double height ceilings, which bring a real vastness to suck you in. We've got furniture that like, the rest of the six senses, the hotel rooms included, have muted earthy colours that accentuate the vibe, the relaxed bohemian spirit that this hotel brings. We've got one big open plan living space, but the genius of the interior design is that we have separate sections for different members of your family to enjoy at any given time. They could be down here near the terrace, which we'll get to in a moment, perhaps taking in a film on the massive TV we have up on the wall. Here we have a different energy with a seating area in the centre of the room, which perhaps you're listening to your friend tinkling the ivories on the Steinway Grand Piano right behind you there. And as we come closer down to the kitchen at this end of the room, we've got an enormous dining table where you'll be enjoying one of the many banquet dinners that will be prepared for you throughout the week, I'm sure, in this kitchen behind me. But first of all, we pass through this exquisite bar area right here. I'd like you to imagine yourself sat up on one of these stools here. We've got all of the drinks. Order your very favorite cocktail to get the evening started in the best possible way. On my right hand side, I've got this beautiful little storage room. We've got a few big wine coolers in there to keep the good stuff chilled. And it is also full of local produce, much of which is grown on the organic farm that the Six Senses Hotel owns in nearby Santa Catrudis. Come with me a little bit further, and this is something very special indeed a fully equipped professional kitchen for when you are really wowing your guests with that banquet meal. So leaving the kitchen area behind me, I walk back through the beautiful living space and I return to the bottom of the stairs that you saw me come down a little bit earlier on. If you look out to my left right here, a lovely courtyard and in the corner there you see the entrance and exit number two to the pinnacle Going down there will take you through to the hotel's main facilities that you will have access to, such as two world-class restaurants, a swimming pool, a gym, and a spa. Okay, let's get on to the bedrooms in this fantastic villa, starting with the master suite. 
So we come straight into this palatial private lounge belonging to the master bedroom. We've got a beautiful L-shaped sofa, big TV on the wall, as lovely as this is. We wanna get straight through to the joyous part, the main bedroom itself. Look at this right here. I've got a beautiful, very inviting king size bed right here. A sofa at the end of it, the perfect spot to sit down and take in the gaze from my private terrace right here. That is sensational. What a view looking out on what I think is arguably the most beautiful part of the island. Whew. It's hot today. I'm gonna to sit down here for a couple of seconds get my breath back, enjoy the beautiful view. While I do, I'll allow you to go and take a look at the bathroom. Enjoy. And that was the master suite. And now follow me this way because there are some very cool things I'd like to show you down this end of the villa. And to access that, we're gonna come through this courtyard again once more. Now we saw a little desk within the master right there. But if that work project is a little bit more significant, despite being in Hoddle Lake, you are going to love this fully blown office that we have right here. Gorgeous desk with seating area. We've got a bathroom. We've got plenty of storage. And now coming out of the office, just quickly across the corridor, every great villa needs one. We've got the home cinema. And this is a great one. We've got seating for all of your friends and family. We've got a big screen on the wall. We've got Sonos sound speakers giving the surround sound all around us. When it's time to escape the sun, come inside, catch up on your latest Charles Milo property tour and enjoy. And now I come back out into the main hub of the mansion right here, passing through this fantastic living space once more as I do. And we will be going upstairs in a minute to have a look up there. But before we do that, I wanna show you what's going on out here. Now, the first place I'm heading to when I come outside to the terrace is down to the swimming pool. 10 meters by five meters. It's an extraordinarily hot day today. I think I've mentioned that once before. I'm looking forward to being in there a little bit later on. But before I am, let's take a wander down here. This dining table seems to go on and on and on and on. You've got all your guests down here for sure for alfresco dining. When you're not dining, you're relaxing. And when you're relaxing, you wanna be here. We're sunbathing, we've got space for chill out, we've got easy access into this amazing living room that I've been through a few times already. And the whole while you're here, you're taking on this beautiful view over Shiraka Bay and the Mediterranean Sea. I'm gonna head upstairs, the views only get better from there. I'll see you up there in just a few minutes time. Okay, so coming back up the main staircase in the villa and back to where I was when I entered the pinnacle, I should point out I've strode energetically up these stairs, but for those of you that don't wish to do that, the villa comes of course with its own elevator that brings you all the way from the basement for your private parking to the ground level and that's level one where we are now. Elsewhere up here, we've got the seven remaining bedrooms. We have four along here, three along here, all double ensuite, very beautiful bedrooms. So without further ado, I'd like to go outside to the real showstopper of this pinnacle mansion, the enormous sunset roof terrace. Wow, this is what this house is all about. The pinnacle sleeps 20 people and you can have all of them comfortably on this terrace all at once. Plenty of seating, plenty of sunbathing space, plenty of sensational, if not stunning view for you all to share. So that has been The Pinnacle, an absolutely fantastic villa, I'm sure you will agree, in the most stunning of spots. The day is drawing to a close now. We're about to witness a fantastic sunset. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I'm off to enjoy the rest of the hotel facilities with a gin and tonic in hand. In the morning, it's the beginning of a new day for us. It's only a few seconds away for you, the viewer, and you're gonna join us in a very different, just as special, if not more spectacular villa. 
I will leave you right now with literally a cliffhanger. See you soon. Hey, good morning. Thanks again for joining. It's a new day. It's the same stunning location and I've got another unbelievable villa to show you around today. I've had an epic last few hours at the Six Senses Hotel here in Ibiza. Last night I ate at the absolutely beautiful Beach Caves restaurant right down on the shoreline, listening to the sound of the waves as you eat some truly delicious food. Been up early this morning for my early dip. I've joined a group yoga session up on the deck. I've had the most amazing breakfast. And as you can see here, I'm about to tuck into a few more light refreshments before the day really gets started. Yesterday we're at the Pinnacle. What a property. I think I'm even more excited to show you the one we're gonna go and see today. If you'll excuse me while I finish my coffee, make final preparations, and then we're going in to the cliffhanger. I can't wait. Okay, I've had my green juice, I'm energized, I'm ready to go. Come on inside and let me show you around. And look at this place, isn't it fantastic? Now, if you haven't twigged yet as to why it's called the cliffhanger, take a look at behind me and take in that view. I'm in a building, but it feels like I'm on a boat. I can hear the water lapping up against the shore pretty much anywhere on this level of the house. It is special. Coming round to this side, you can see the cliffs in the wall right here. We're at the edge of the Six Senses site here. So maximum privacy of all the residences, I would say, can be enjoyed from this one, the cliffhanger. Big 14-man dinner table just here. And here we come into the kitchen. I love this. I check in and as I mentioned, the organic farm that the hotel owns has provided fresh produce for me and my guests to enjoy. A beautiful bottle of hierbas. If you've not enjoyed or sampled hierbas yet, I highly recommend that you do. A fantastic Ibethan local tipple. Fully equipped kitchen, really, really stunning. Views, panoramic all around me. This room is brilliant. Okay, so this mansion has five bedrooms. We've got three upstairs, including an unbelievable master suite. We've got two downstairs alongside an absolutely luscious living room. We'll get to all of that in just a moment. There is an option as well to make this the cliffhanger plus with a further three bedrooms, so eight in total. I'll get to how all that works in just a moment. I've also got to show you some sublime outdoor spaces, beautiful terraces, an incredible swimming pool, all these wonderful views. There's the underground parking. Okay, there's lots to get through. Let's go. We will go downstairs first to see those two bedrooms, the great living room, possibly my favorite bit of the house. Let's go take a look. Follow me. Okay, so we come down to the lower ground floor into the living room space of this particular mansion and what a space it is. Please take a look around. Join me over here first and foremost. I've spent a lot of time in a lot of living rooms. I can say with 100% certainty, none of them have had a view like that. That special, got a clear view of Shiraka Bay. I can see for miles and miles into the deep blue that way. And if I open up these doors, I dive straight into my own private swimming pool from the lounge. How about that? Come around here with me now. Here we've got an unbelievable sound system. Get a closer look at that. That is no ordinary hi-fi, trust me. And then speaking of home entertainment, if it's all getting a little bit too much for you outside, you want a little bit of chill time, pop open these. 
I'm gonna slide these in so they're out of the way, out of sight. Everything's been thawed off, everything's been designed properly. Hey presto, you've got yourself a movie night. Okay, where to next? Let's go and have a look at a couple of the bedrooms down here. Follow me. Okay, so down this end of the mansion, we've got two really beautiful guest bedrooms. Follow me, I'll show you this one in here. How gorgeous is this? King size bed, big TV on the wall. We've got direct access out to the terrace here. How pretty is that? Take a look over there. Behind you now, we've got a beautiful ensuite bathroom. I'll leave you to go and take a look in there. The lights come on themselves as you go in. Okay, so stepping out of the bedroom, I come out onto this pretty terrace we've got a glimpse of from the inside, and it's not just a terrace for this individual bedroom here. It goes all the way down the length of this mansion, past this guest bedroom here, and now coming under some shade, these beautiful wooden shades above me, and go past this really, really great dining table. We get comfortable space for all 10 of your guests around here, that's for sure. And then we come down here, plenty more beautiful, comfortable seating, before we get to what I think might be my favorite spot in the entire of the Six Senses complex. This little sofa in front of my own private pool with that view. Hell, I think this might be my favorite spot in the whole of the north of Ibiza. I'm shutting up now. Just take a look yourself. Okay, so that's been the lower ground floor. We've seen this fantastic living space, two beautiful bedrooms just down here. Gorgeous outdoor terraces overlooking the pool and that view. Where are we gonna go now? Two floors up, you're gonna love, we've got to show you up there. See you up there. Okay, we're up on the top floor. Of course the cliffhanger has a lift. Follow me, because I really, really, really want to show you the cliffhanger master suite. I think this might be the best bedroom you've ever seen. I think it might be the best bedroom I've ever been into. Come on in. What a space. Light, airy, luxurious, king-size bed, sofa at the end of it once more. And wow, what a view. I know I keep saying it, but it is so special, and we are in the most privileged of spots to see it all right here. Elevated right at the top of the mansion. And in one way to make that view ever so slightly better, let's get closer to it. Step outside, please, onto my private master suite balcony. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what it is all about. Allow me to take this in for just a few minutes. Wow, not only can I see the view, I can hear the view, I can smell the view. It's unbelievably sensational. That is Mediterranean luxury living. Back into the master suite, what have I got? Freestanding bath, absolutely brilliant. TV on the wall here. Let's go and have a look at the bathroom. And what a pretty bathroom it is. We've got double basin here, big mirror, which is backlit. The loo and the shower are down this end of things. And if we walk this way, we go all the way through this large wardrobe space, which spans the entire width of the suite. Plenty of room for all of your clothes, no doubt about that. Okay, we're gonna head this way now. Come with me. So the cliffhanger has five glorious bedrooms. The master that we've just seen is of course the pick of the bunch, but down this end of the mansion, here we have two further additional beautiful high-end guest bedrooms. So that makes five in total available to you when you stay here. Now, I mentioned it a little bit earlier on, there is a possibility to turn the five bedroom cliffhanger into the eight bedroom cliffhanger. So for an additional 5,000 euros per night, if you really want to impress and treat all of your friends and your extended family, we open this big dividing door and voila. Welcome to the rest of my eight bedroom cliffhanger mansion. Come on in. So what do you get this extra? Another beautiful living room. We go straight out behind you there. You've got a sea view private terrace. 
into your second kitchen now of this mansion. Fully stocked, high-end equipment. To my left, we've got one of the guest bedrooms, en suite, of course, and then we come back outside here, and you've got, again, your second swimming pool now for this particular villa. A little private space to catch a few rays. Come with me, we'll see what we've got upstairs. Okay, so we will get upstairs in just a moment, but very quickly, let me tell you what's going on. Downstairs, this is your access point to your private underground car parking space. Both the Cliffhanger and the Cliffhanger Plus come with that, so you can bring your car in, in comfort, and get right up to the door of your house. What's even more exciting than that, however, is what I'm gonna show you upstairs, the piece de resistance of this villa. Come with me. Okay, so I'm up on the first floor now and I've passed by two more bedrooms, a guest bedroom here, a very spacious master bedroom here, which I'm a big fan of. But I am being drawn out here to the light. And please take a look around here. We were at the Pinnacle yesterday and we saw a fantastic roof terrace. I'm at another fantastic roof terrace now. I think arguably an even better one. Look around, space for all my friends, all my family. I'm that close to the sea up here. I can hear it in my ears and the view is something I will never ever get tired of. I'm spending the rest of the evening right here. So there we go, we've seen the Pinnacle and we have seen the Cliffhanger, two unbelievable properties, I'm sure you'll agree. And to be part of this Six Senses experience brings a real uniqueness to it. You will not see properties like this anywhere else, I can assure you. I really hope you've enjoyed looking around both of these today. If you have, then trust me, you are going to be blown away by some of the property tours that we have coming up in the next weeks or so. So please, subscribe to our channel. You do not want to miss them, I assure you. Until then, I'm going to see if I can spend another night here. For no other reason than I cannot get enough of this view. I'll see you later. <laughs>